Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show and of course you're the number one online TV show. So guys, today ni metembea hadi embu niko embu. Now I have an amazing guest in this segment, whether it's a new segment, niko na, yani niko na one of the stars wenye kila mtu anaweza taka kusikia story yake. Tokyo tukipiga story na yeye tujue inakuwaje aliamwaja kafika hadi huku mafichoni. Yeye aliamwa ni embu. Hataki hataki Nairobi, hataki hawa iko na vitu mingi mingi pollution pollution. So guys, guess what? I have OJ in the building. Ukaje? Yeah, the media. You good? I'm good. Yaani bado kala ni yellow yellow. Ujapi ujachoma unajua? Unajua huko ni nini? Huko ni high altitude. Huko kulikuwa kitabu kulikuwa kunaitwa White Highlands. So nika join White Highlands. Wow, so unajua bado hujakuchoma huko tu sawa. Iko huwa kama time lakini ya ni place poor, fresh air, ku easy hakuna story mob. Okay. Hebu tuanze na hapo. Unajua nimekupata hapa, wacha tuanze na ili kuaje transformation ukatoka Kanairo hadi ukakuja Embu. Um liche ki over saturation ya market um in Nairobi. Na mm-hmm. Nairobi maze ndio kuna access to najua resources, kuna access to the talents that you need nini. So nikafikiria kwa mimi na dem plan ito Ashley. Mm-hmm. Si order tumetoka huku Embu. Yeah. Kafikiria tupeleke hii talent atuipeleke tucheki tunaweza fanya nini. Kwe to home, kwe to ocha. So we grow up. Uh, born and raised in Nakuru lakini ocha mm-hmm. ni huku hivi. Ocha ni huku ndo kuna semini tu nini. Huku sando family yetu ime grow here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in which year uliamua wacha sasa you settle here in Embu? Been here for what? This is uh, my third year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, third year I work for the county government of Embu and I'm in charge of film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And comparing the industry here and in Nairobi, unaweza sema nini? Of course at least compare. <laughs> Come off it, man. No. Mm-hmm. As in Nairobi ko that advanced level kuna mm-hmm. kuna vitu mob kuna vitu mob Nairobi but mm-hmm. it's getting saturated daily in day in day out mm-hmm. um, actually the initial plan was how do we open up the uh, easy side eh? um, central province mm-hmm. uh, to guys like um, Maisha Magic Maisha Magic East juta pata sa hawa sio na dwell sana in Nairobi mm-hmm. and they're not opening up any market this side mm-hmm. so our initial plan was to kuje to anze show yetu huku mm-hmm. that wasa hata wanaongea kikuyu kiembu kikirenyaga you know all those languages mm-hmm. so uh, that wasa wa huku mm-hmm. wanaweza switch on to uh, channels like maisha magic mm-hmm. na wanapata content na relate now mm-hmm. uh, so that, that that was the initial plan when we got here mm-hmm. then when we got here tuka, uh, tuka, tuka ingia kwa county government mm-hmm. the county government gave us a um, role mm-hmm. wakatushoniaje chezeni design ya kwa identify talent ya ku wa grow na kuwa market so mm-hmm. tukaanza tena sasa from scratch mm-hmm. so tuna identify tuna train wase i love to start uh, to our eventual goal where we will start now shooting programs from here mm-hmm. and selling them to the international market mm-hmm. ku open up to area to to film mm-hmm. yeah wow that's so nice wacha sasa tu rudi nyuma way back kama sasa sikwa nimezaliwa oh guy 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 2000 2000 ni kwa 2000 watoto waliobobea watoto watoto wow so oj mimi nataka to come to know like e unajua kila mtu anajonga tu oj tahidi hai we don't know where the dream of being an actor started ilikuwaje ikakuwa sasa hadi umefika tahidi hai we want to understand the whole story unajua history ya um, ku achieve kitu mm-hmm. actually yeye ndo alinipatia dream ya ku act na kuingia kwa tv mm-hmm. so nikiwa class 4 mm-hmm. siku inisha ito kitu inaitwa unajua ile prize giving day mm-hmm. i know wallahi mimi nilikuwa anga wale ma studio ya number 1 eh, number 3 number 2 number 1 mm-hmm. oh napatia tu zawadi tu zawadi mm-hmm. ah mimi nilikuwa zile za mimi niko huko tu katikati mm-hmm. unajua wale wasetua mm. hata wezi jisikiza hao wakisoma unangoja tu huko ten eh, eh, alois eh, kwanza sijai sawa alois <laughs> Eh na jama fulani mazina alikuwa anga yani nimesoma majina za yule kwa primo uh-huh. class 4. Mm. Asa uh-huh. eh jama fulani alikuwa itwa sanduku arab smit. Mm-hmm. Nakumbuka hawezi kumbuka. Oh, guy 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 my condolences. Sasa <laughs> wao jamaa akamchuo. 
uh, he was a very good actor back in those days vio jama kamani nini 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 na tulikuwa na study na i think alikuwa nephew wa manisi wake mm. so akafungua ka drama tu akasema for the for that day mm. anataka um, ku showcase ka, ka play so wase wajitole volunteer mm. if you feel like you can act mimi nani guy acting mm-hmm. akasema acha tujaribu hii mm-hmm. tukapiga ka show uh, ka skit ya yeah, like mm, 10 minutes hivi sad kwa hapo prize giving day kwa kitabu naona jina yangu imeandikwa hapo best actor Dennis Mugo ala ah pia mimi naweza patiwa zawadi jua ya kufanya kitu chuo ai nikaipa so hiyo drama club tukaianzia Nyahururu Elite ah nikasukuma nayo tukaingia na Kuruhai bado on drama you know drama saika kwa my thing my to go my place to go that nikifanya kitu hapo najua niko fit kuna msana anaweza ipiga kuniliko kaingia hapo kutoka hapo nikaingia Kenya so mass communication nao uko sando kuna drama club big mm-hmm. naitwa the powerhouse mm-hmm. saa so, the powerhouse hapo tukaingia kapatana wase wa fujo akina abel mtua nini tukapiga show nikashinda national best actor kutoka hapo nikaingia tahidi sa ma connections are cuz it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a media institution mm-hmm. so citizen wakitaka actors wakitaka wase wa ku train cameras mm-hmm. interns ni nini mm-hmm. wanakuja hapo kwanza so kutoka hapo pap ndio nikaingia th okay. How was it like kujipata you know it was one of the biggest platform back then that tulikuwa nazo kila mtu yani ulikuwa unangoja hiyo time you switch to Tahiti High how did you receive the news that utakuwa amongst the actors in that platform aya sasa si ndo sisi ya kwanza tumeenda ka audition tumeenda ka audition tumeangaliwa tumepiga kasho kitu kanini ka audition tape deposit up kampo kampo umetulia pigiwa simu nianze tumekupatia role tidy hai ati ngoza mm-hmm. nitakuwa on tv unajua on tv back si siku hizi siku hizi oh sijui tiktok nini siku hizo kukuwa on tele ili kuwa eh eh kila mtu anangoja kuone muda yani ushakuwa star mm-hmm. mm. kwanza unatembea kampu eh ngojeni ngojeni next month mm-hmm. so unapigiwa phone alafu unaambiwa so utaanza ku shoot from around the uh, next month hivyo kitu kai ai 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 Mm? kale ka prize giving day kale eh ai mm-hmm. kale ka feeling kamerudi tena mm-hmm. tukaanza kupiga show mm-hmm. mbuka show sinia kwanza ni issue tulikuwa mimi na Omosh mazi sasa ni babaika juu mse tulikuwa tuanza kumwatch mm-hmm. mazi eh hey, ana ni hata atasikia yani na zone angalia hivi Omosh niko zile guy mimi na wewe hapa hivi mtu wangu we ala but anyway tukapiga we did what we did mm-hmm. so a little bit you are scared of Omosh nani mm. Ai, Ai uko na magafa. Wanaume akubalengi vitu guys. Lakini come on, of course you're sharing a stage with one big names in Kenya. So yeah. But hiyo time hata iko may take off passage unakumbuka. Mm. Um tulikuwa tuna shoot. Sasa unajua una shoot ushaanza kuzoea like being in front of the camera mm. na vitu guys. Um but sasa tulikuwa tunajua the impact that we are, we are generating out there. Mm-hmm. Like, wana shoot show yako naenda una watch una criticize say next time i'll make it better next time i'll make it better mm-hmm. so let's quickly and the circle hit that mm-hmm. way by the issue kuna kuna my fans time flani uko uh, tutao eh hey, kidogo kidogo sikia eh hey, mtoto wa shule eh hey, mtoto wa shule eh hey, oj eh hey, ni nini ni nini eh kidogo kidogo aya wacha leza kuko na kama high schooler eh wewe bana hiyo kitu kuliko na youth Yuse hizo mazeni niko ka unajua ukiwa kampo uko na kale eh hey, mini um, student eh mm-hmm. au unaitwa kijana wa shule mm-hmm. ah but any anyway, sasa ni mafans yeah. na achukulia tu ile bila ona kama mm-hmm. yeah. so that's the first time that we actually knew that this show actually has a lot of impact mm-hmm. yeah. then the second time it hit us is um, to discuss you in parliament at mm-hmm. tidy high the show mm-hmm. ina inafunza watoto wa shule tabia mbaya yeah. Yeah. and we had to represent ourselves mm-hmm. lazima tungejiwakilisha yeah. tukasema sasa mm-hmm. zile vitu zinafanyika kwa chuo mm-hmm. tukiwaonesha mnasema tunawaribu na hizi vitu zinafanyika mna get mm-hmm. cause what is media media is a reflection of society hiyo yeah. ndo kitu inaendelea sasa nikao uone umeumia hapa hivi ujangalie kwa kio uone umeumia hapa alafu instead of kujeka bandage hapa mm-hmm. unaweka kwa kio mm-hmm. as in 
these things that are we are showing you on the show are actually happening. Tulipiganga show moja ya homosexuality. What? Kwanza DJ Israel ndo alikuwa amekuja. DJ Israel ndo alikuwa amekamku play your role at ni intern lakini amenokika boys. Wait, T. Alikuwa amenoki nani? Yo alikuwa amenokika boy. Hey, yo show ile ta mashida lakini sasa tukwambie maze. Sasa hizi uomo si kitu ya kuongea kwa machuo. Ni kitu is happening it's standard everyone knows and no one wants to talk about it but see to leave fanya back in the day ili kwa control pa simba yeah so that's when we started knowing the impact of the show on, on the society mkaendelea kupiga kupiga show ikazidi yani show ikaendelea kukuwa noma mimi nataka nijue yani ile zile apart from those nyume taja what are some of the impacts zenye ulianza ku feel as a person sasa is Dennis yenyewe hii show ina ina ni take places mimi kama actor the biggest na ile kwa personal story kuna day mali nitafuta nitafuta FB mimi kadhani labda we labda ni star ni nini nini dema kaniambia z what you what you did to my life was actually very big so i mean cuz ile za mimi mimi na act tunaandikiwa lines mimi napiga then mm-hmm. akaniambia mimi nilikuwa anga as in mimi nilikuwa nimesema story ya chuo stacky mm-hmm. and actually nilikuwa naenda kujihang vitu kai zao shows a bit suicide ola nilikuwa na sijui mm-hmm. ma depression zake lakini mm-hmm. from the show mm-hmm. ali watch show na i come change mind na new character yangu ya rude boy mm-hmm. so hiyo show ilikuwa ilikuwa christmas show mm-hmm. that OJ alikuwa anafanya vitu cuz tu zake tu ndo get ka kitu ka, mm-hmm. ka pesa but how ka pesa eventually mm-hmm. kalikuwa kanaenda kusaidia boy fulani alikuwa ametoka Sudan tulikuwa na acting na yeye alikuwa anaitwa ngani mesa maze ni kitambo man so hizo hiyo ujanja yote yenye huyu jamaa alikuwa anafanya so audience wote walikuwa najua hii tu ni ujanja ya, mm-hmm. ya OJ but show ikiisha tuliyo tuli, yote tulichanga kenda tukageu boy ndo at least at travel Sudan akuwa na familia maze mm-hmm. odema alichekio show ikambadilisha ile ruta alikuwa anaenda kutake mm. eh na akani akani inbox facebook akaniambia mazee thank you so much ni nini hapo sasa ndo nakaanga hivi unasema uwe uwe okay so it's that much of an impact so we decided that apart from just being on screen mm-hmm. what we shall do tuanze ku visit machu mm-hmm. jusa we are relating directly to these guys na hawajui hata story zetu unajua labda msana anakuchekea hapo kwa screen na juu umesoma kiwango gani ajui anadhani tu hii ni ni ukweli i don't know vile everyone is allowed to translate in their own way but to come well, let's go visit schools mm-hmm. so tulikuwa naenda kwa machuo tukaanza motivational speaking about careers and talents mm-hmm. usa unapata mpaka mtoto yako class 8 anaulizwa anataka kwenda chuo gani alikuwa anasema anataka kwenda type ya hiyo hii chuo bana hii ni job <laughs> Eh tukaanza ku visit machuo and um, actually to visit Kambani to visit uh, Ukuembu to visit Meru tukaenda is it necessary to kuweza ku make you pia tukoanga na Dovile ni side za Udumu uko side za western ni side coast at kuenda na plus uko yuko northeast and uko kina Isiolo uko uko to make but where we could access Kiambu hizo two areas ya central around Nairobi hizo tuli tuli visit quite as quite quite a few mm-hmm. yeah. so ulimaliza shule ama kulienda nimeacha umeniambia bado uko pale Kinyamas then you got a role at Tahidi High si bado niko ma sasa si bado na nasoma unapiga zote yes unasoma na unapiga jobo so uzuri sana ni we could uh, juggle your schedule yeah. naulizwa classes zako so you, una, unajipanga lakini satos Satos tulikuwa tunaenda full day shoot na mm-hmm. kama hatujamaliza saa zingine tutaipiga mpaka Sunday. Mm-hmm. But we were always a month ahead. Mm-hmm. So kaka kuna kitu yenye inafaa kushutiwa you have a month mm-hmm. in between kujipanga. Okay. So una juggle schedule tukapiga tukapiga mass mm-hmm. tuka graduate. Ehe, sasa tukaingia saa kwa kipindi sasa full time. Sasa tuko mm-hmm. kwa tired hiyo ndo hiyo ndo job hiyo sasa ndo unakulia. Mm-hmm. Ndo unapata rent yako pondo una dishi so tulimaliza shule campus huko enda job nyingine uliingia tu tahidi hai before tahidi hai nilikuwa nafanya job eh, nilikuwa dere mm-hmm. driver wa wa models mm-hmm. <coughs> <coughs> eh ma models eh, nilikuwa na work wewe na tabia zako mbovu za tahidi hai nasikia hizo tabia ni za OJ sasa Dennis Mugo Dennis Mugo alikuwa dere 
sasa hiyo ndio job nilikuwa na do so nilikuwa na do hiyo na tidy haya mm-hmm. um kwa na si jago mm-hmm. um, Yeah. Okay. And yeah. being that character yako ilikuwa ya boy rude. Yaani mahuru. Uh, Kulikuwa na watu wenye maybe ulikuwa unapatana na mse. Yaani mtu anakuona anga tu wewe ni kijana mbaya. Mm. Uh-huh. We. Wewe. Hey. Tuko sa acha nikuchia pia vile hizi characters zilikuwa zimeingia wasi. Mm. Tuko mimi na Miss Morgan. Mm. Tuko tu mahali tume chill out. Eh hey, mzai fulani akapitia hapo. Akatuona pamoja. Mm-hmm. Tuko kwa restaurant. Mm-hmm. Ali tuangalia zile za tu, yani anashanga mwalimu afani na mwanafunzi <laughs> eh sasa tunangoja yule sasa tunangoja ma director wetu ilikuwa ka meeting mhm ah wao mzae yani ilimwasha mpaka akakuja kakana sisi mm-hmm. sasa it goes leza eh hey, niaje wasio <laughs> umbuda ni nini nikamwambia mnajua ile kitu mnatufanyia ni kitu very wrong mm-hmm. hmm? sasa wewe ni mwalimu wewe <laughs> eh hey, wacha sasa unajua ndani ile na cheka tu kindani mm-hmm. unafanya nini na mtoto Mm-hmm. Unafanya na mtoto mm, kwa restaurant. Eh? Alafu unajua sana zile ma restaurants kuna ma cage ni nini ma rooms ni. Eh. Mm-hmm. Wacha sasa si tuanze kuisha. Unaisha kindani lakini like, unajaribu ku explain hiyo jamaa ile kitu tunakuanga hapo ni tofauti sana na mm-hmm. <laughs> ile kitu tunakuanga. Yaani hivyo ndo characters ilikuwa zime zime blend in na Kenya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's nice. Na hiyo ndio kitu maybe sasa hivi hakunanga. Kila mtu akiona kipindi pale anasema ah si ni kipindi. Shida ni Okay. For a show to be successful, it has to be believable. Mm-hmm. So in that respect, mm-hmm. Tidy High was believable. Mm-hmm. The other the negative side of it is um people take that character that they associate with you mm-hmm. to be who you are na get so what we call you uja ma tuni uni rude boy uni ajua which is which is not the case um so you know the negative the negative side of it eh na yesa zingine obo ah true story obo ju ju assume for example yeah they know mimi or j the actor me spot kai yangs fulani hapo nataka kuongelesha u dem get to know each other better mm-hmm. una approach dem na kuangalia tu zile za mm. mm. okay mm. mm. one kuna madem wengi two when you play boy three when you rude boy yani una muangalia tu zile za sawa basi mhm ji nice mm-hmm. so that before hata ni get baby mama ili we nilika single for a minute watu wako anakukubali look at that when you bad boy ah ya kuna ilikuwa tricky ile kwa tricks and how did you end up convincing that one bus ya mungu ni mengi ya kuku ni mayai kuna mwisho wa unga mwisho wa mahindi ni unga okay then uh uka push pale tahid high but unajua kilichokuwa na mwanzo kina mwisho exactly so eh we did tahid high do ile kwa 7 or 8 years yeah around that it was for a long time Um, <clears throat> in the course of that cuz see what I got to my media mm-hmm. like kuna watu walikuwa wamesomea media mimi nilikuwa nimesomea television production kuna watu walikuwa wamea kina bali walikuwa wamesomea film yeah nani mbona walikuwa wamesomea so to conduct you into the show mm-hmm. so you, you're not just uh, an actor mm-hmm. you're an actor and sometimes you're directing you are mm-hmm. and uh, you're an assistant director and sometimes you're directing the show mm-hmm. so to kanza saa kuingia behind the camera pr- practicing everything that um tulikuwa tumesoma mm-hmm. which was a big adva- a big plus for us mm-hmm. Ju- even after the show ilisha mm-hmm. for some time mm-hmm. we were still earning from the show mm-hmm. in terms of um being behind being the part of the crew eh okay. uh, so unaenda una direct unaenda una assistant direct but that too ikafika place now you have to you have to chomoka you have to grow so i got um uh, into advertising mm-hmm. and i uh, did a commercial for indom mm-hmm. uh nilfanya commercial ya indom and then the company that did that production waka niuliza niaje una doing any squeeze you still on tidy kwambia zi sasa hizi tu niko on the grind but mm-hmm. then actually we're looking for a creative director and we think you can do that so pop mm-hmm. nikajipata kwa company inaitwa triple edge media mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, but it's this story that you got fired. 
mm-hmm. because at some point unajua kuna ile uliamua lazima lazima watu wanyotoke vizuri oh, sherehe sherehe <laughs> ukabwa ni kupiga sherehe so, then so, ukashindwa so, na job so yeah, you, you, kuna your point that um, that's that, that i call um, uh, the low life of um, Uh, the, the low point of my life mm-hmm. was sawa wakati sherehe ilianza ku unajua saa tumtume hiyo mm-hmm. stardom stardom imeshaanza ku check in na mm-hmm. ume, umekuwa star mm-hmm. na unajua lazima unde job lakini ukisha ukishaingia mali kwa kwa resto kwa baesa jamaa anakuambia ai buda ah buda ni aja pewa kitu mm-hmm. pewa kitu unajua saa no, yo, yo, one yo young mm. ile training ngo umefanya ni at the technical bit of life yeah. unajua kutumia camera unajua lights unajua sound yani kuja kwa filamu but now when it comes to now the next part of the portion of life about us mm. how to take in the stardom how to you know mm. move from one to two to three your life yani bado ija mm. uja grow into life mm-hmm. so mimi ki grow into life ile kitu ya kwanza ni grow into ni party mm-hmm. party and sometimes Uh, it really affect job yangu sana mm-hmm. so um, i was director at idi high um, for, for for a period of time mm-hmm. then kwa sababu ya sherehe mob nikaiko to the assistant director mm-hmm. so hapo kulika kuwa na struggle na struggle bado you know still trying to balance the, the party life jobo life mm-hmm. uh, na sizo pia nilikuwa nimeanza talking of party life did you reach at, at some point you are addicted ama ilikuwa to just yes. the Yes 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 I've, I've spoken about this several mm-hmm. um what do you, what, what what we call a functioning alcoholic mm-hmm. at uh, lazima ninge amka asubuhi mm-hmm. nipige kitu mm-hmm. ndio when the job ndio nisikie yeah. niko 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 creative na famani unajua bako na get your self doubt in terms of you can't work without okay. eh lazima nipige kitu ndio ni deliver lines ama ndio ni jiwe shots gani tutapiga ndio ni jiwe what camera angles vitu guys it got to that point mm-hmm. like uh, it really messed up with, uh, with my career yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah there was a point uh, i was really hooked okay. yeah. and how did you manage to uh, yani kuinuka you've said it's your lowest moment in your life uli 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 manager je like kuamka tena you you come back strong uh, yeah 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 hiyo ni jani it's unajua si kitu si kitu ati unasimama hivi hapa unaamka ati na uko fiti ah kuna usidanganywe mm. mpaka wa leo ni kitu bado mimi na struggling nayo of course mm. it's ni jani so one una realize what shit mm-hmm. hapa ndo tuko mm-hmm. so tuna recoveraje kutoka hapo mm-hmm. so niko na support system moja fiti sana from uh, a family and in 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 like um madhi ndo alikuwa kwanza ku notice your story kaniambia ah we will una go sifi sifiti so utakuaje kaniambia tonde rehab kaenda rehab nikachekea sio ni yako rehab nikachekea hapa sijafika why sijafika kama huko ndo a a a a wacha kwanza nishike la nishike line <coughs> so nika spend time na mother for a minute um sizo so oh um by then mama alikuwa wapi uh, bado alikuwa jobo um, Nairobi yeah, oh, okay. yeah. so sizo so hata sha yani msha cha nada na uh, bi mama nisha get mjuni mm-hmm. na get mm-hmm. uh, ina interfere na relationship yangu na uh, mamake mm-hmm. na relationship yangu na mtu wipi ya msha cha na una get mm-hmm. so yeah vitu zina crumbles nyingine zinaanza kujenga so mother can take in for three months mm-hmm. akita hatu kujua yenyewe kan vile vile anadhani mm-hmm. so by then you've stopped working there at Tahiti High Ah uh-huh, by then cause nisha ingia saa nini advertising and marketing okay. I mean the advertiser working for Triple H Media mm-hmm. who had also noticed a problem mm-hmm. unajua mm-hmm. eh walikuwa sha notice eh hey, uja ma share yake mm-hmm. share yake ni too much mm-hmm. so support system yangu will include um Mathe mm-hmm. na the manager Ashley Ashley Murugi Ashley you play alikuwa na play Ashley okay. on on Tidy I how ndo as walikaiwa kachiki huyu jamaa tuta tumshughulikie So I I I really smama I really thank my my the support system that walikuwa around me to hold me when they saw 
uh, my life crumbling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, in a way would you say that wewe kuacha kuacha hidi hai was it affected by wewe kuku addicted into alcohol or it reached a point it was just willingly? Once only 15. Ebu irudi. <laughs> like I'm asking in any way can you say that by the time we kuna by yani wewe kuchomoka show yeah kuchomoka kwa show was it because of alcohol ama ilikuwa imefika point yenye wewe uli feel like what are we into advertising um so this is what happened during that time but um form 4 <laughs> tukambiwa form 4 ina inaisha so watu waanze kujipa but one's a good bang. Yeah, so as I'm doing in the jella. What? Utaishi or jella? Because Roger Cocos episode about you are well and good. I could have done. I could not have killed you. But uh, Zuri, ni, uh, before I even left the show, mm-hmm. as I told you, but on Lukwa, not bigger crew. Mm-hmm. So even after from four in Asia, but on a bigger crew. Uh, yeah, it could affect pass. Eh. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you look at Tony Shere, you know, Piga Jukunado, you get to King Yaga Club, where is it? Was a form? Yeah, one and good job. Then go again, do you as in, yeah, mm-hmm. living tidy high, I couldn't affect uh, mentally, mm-hmm. but you like to know, you affect your. Kutojua what to do with uh, with stardom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what next? Jina ndio hiyo iko hapo alafu. Eh. What avenue ni gani? Na uh, advertising actually nika ilianza kunifungua macho. Nika, uh, nika I don't know. Kanza kucheki how to make money now with a brand. Ju kwa na jina lakini za ujui. So Gina ndio hiyo hapo so advertising pia kaanza kunisho oh kuna avenue kai kuna avenue kai kuna avenue kai mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah so by now do you think it's something that most of us tukipata Gina tunako tuko up there but tuna lack that mentorship ya kiwa star yani hiyo ndo hiyo kitu tunafaa kufanya do you feel like mimi lack the mentorship we lack your mentorship but uh, we see like now over the years tunaweza cheki um oh ule jamaa alikuwa na jina na akapiga hiyo jina na akacheza akacheza ile side oh ule jamaa ule dem alikuwa jina na hiyo jina akaitumia ku so kuli, kuna 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 web una get kuna ushaunda jina unajua uko na mpenyo gani unaweza unaweza cheza nayo mm-hmm. see by the time ulikuwa naunda jina so shanga so nani nani atakwambia what next from here mm-hmm. so uh, I was a bit disoriented for lack of a better word. Nasa ju te iko. Eh. Stukate maji. Sina that was that was kind of my my thought process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So after mama we kuchukua sasa for 3 good months yeah. after that. Aya, ale kaniambia ai. You know that's bad as I thought. Mm-hmm. Kwa rada ni mama rehab ni nini ni nini but naona. Auko mm-hmm. auko vile nilikuwa ndani. Mm-hmm. So where would you turn? Ah, in Karudim Tan. Then you are staying in? Um, cook. Will you connect you up by then? Nairobi, so be. Okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, I had to change. Uh, I had to change up eh, mm-hmm. where I was staying. Nini, nini. Alikuwa na alikuwa na conditions zake. Mm-hmm. Mbia, if you're going to leave this house, out of Kako, you're going to South B. You're going to live somewhere else. So I had to move. Nini, nini. as in, another strategy is to. Um, mkondo wangu wa maisha. Mm. Yeah. And uh, hmm? yeah. Okay. So ukaanza ukarudi sasa Nairobi vizuri. Back to society. Sasa. Back to society. Yeah, yeah. What exactly did you start doing? Will you involve in which kind of businesses? Um but I was, I was still at uh, Triple Edge Media mm-hmm. and uh, that was that was uh, my main job. Yeah, but uh, I also said ile mambo ya kwenda kwa mashule nikairudia tena. So over the weekends wherever I could nilikuwa naenda kwa kwa mashule ka mentorship program tunaongea nao mm-hmm. about talent, careers, na vitu kaizo and discipline. Mm-hmm. Because the, 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 what was lacking in me that time mm-hmm. is discipline. Mm-hmm. So career 
uh, unaambia story ya discipline mm-hmm. na peer pressure the people who are around you mm-hmm. because the best message that I could I could I could give I could give mm-hmm. so triple edge triple edge triple edge tumefanya huko um karibu 4 years mm. I'd been there for around uh, an hour five years mm. so in total maybe nine years mm. ndio hii idea ya embu mm. nika come mm-hmm. so nikaambia triple edge mm. uh, I'm still consulting with them mm. in case any time they need creative ni nini bado sio fanya job now mm. but nikaambia this is my idea I want to go back to the community nione what I can do for my peeps and a peer card tunaweza make kakiru pia in the process mm-hmm. yeah okay. and now, now I landed in embo mm-hmm. yeah what do you think apart from e- being in the wrong companies umesema una feeling you know some of the things the request sana what are some of the mistakes you feel like ulifanya when you you start ilianza kuingia sasa kutoskiza mm-hmm. kufura kichwa mm-hmm. ah sidani ungeniambia kitu tunikwambia tunasikizana wewe ni star mikono kwenda huko mimi no watu wanasimama kwenye hapa jina hapa by the uh. huge ah yeah, yeah. kichwa ngumu mm-hmm. ah kuna kitu ngeni show mm-hmm. so nakumbuka siku moja abeli akaniambia niaje mm-hmm. eh, kuna show tunaanza mm-hmm. na tumeangalia wale ma director wanafikiria anga kaa ka sisi hapa mm. ni wewe ni wewe mm-hmm. guess what mm-hmm. yo den ilikuwa maji mm-hmm. i was lit na get mm. juu ya wale watu nilikuwa nimeji surround now yeah mazee na cheki opportunity ni den direct na ni kitu napenda kudu mm. but mazee ile sherehe iko hapa Ai. Na watu wenye ulikuwa close na wao. Ni watu walikuwa wametoka wapi? Are they watu mlikuwa nao shule ama they just friends from where? Unajua most of the time my friends like kutapata ni watu tuko the same, tunafanya job the same. Wa. Wa. Ni marafiki ujuhangi ametoka wapi? Wako tu. Wako. Mm. Sisi jua ni akari hata mpaka wa leo kaniuza tulikuwa na nani tumeka hapo hiyo day kwa hiyo mesa sijui. Uh-huh. So kutosikiza kuto kutoona like calculating your next step. Mm-hmm. Eh yeah. one biggest mistakes mm-hmm. ndio hizo. Okay. Cuz you're living at the moment, you're living saa hii. Mm-hmm. Saa hii ufikiri beyond your nose, ufikiri pale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah about ni nini unaangalia anga yani ukiangalia way back the whole of your career something you unajivunianga unasema yenyewe this is the thing that I've achieved so far me as OJ me as Dennis that I'm proud of myself yeah. in my career ni vitu mob mm. kuna kuna vitu personal ka wo dem vile ali ali reach out to me na akaniambia unajua kitu kayo ina, ina, ina it stays yeah. with you yeah yeah kuna time hata natembea anga hivi na jamaa analikuja na niambia hey, kuna time ulika mchu yetu na mazee uliniongelesha vipoa sana ni nini these, these are now personal story mm-hmm. kuna zingine tu zile obvious oh, um, best actors uh, country wide mm-hmm. um, best show on tv king of tv hizo ni hizo ni awards mm-hmm. but the things that really mimi feel in my career kama singe ikuwa na hiyo platform kama singe ipitie hii barabara yenyewe mm-hmm. ilienda chini na size inapanda mm-hmm. singe kuwa naweza ku impact msi hata from this show naweza piga hii story yangu mm-hmm. na jamaa kwa hivi aseme by the way hata mimi labda eh, kuna mali na eh, na nish eh. mm-hmm. so hizo ndo hizo ndo stories mimi upenda ku ku claim that those are my biggest achievements because mm-hmm. uh, i believe kibadilisha msemo moja umi change generation yake wote na hata wale watu yangeza na watu hivi wale watu wote yangeza mm-hmm. msemo moja tu okay. you don't need to change the world yeah oj what do you think about our film industry right now in kenya ah ina songa we're heading somewhere we're heading somewhere mm. uh, the, <clears throat> the fact is one the growth of film Uh, it was non-existent 
because zile films zilikuwa zinatolewa kitambo zilikuwa mostly documentaries na zilikuwa oh documentary ende shoot yo trukana oh documentary ende shoot yo kuhusu watu wa HIV na stigma you know there was nothing creative there was nothing out of the world it was just guys were really based on documentaries zile movies zilitokea those days uh, the pioneering movies kuna zanya zilikuwa but there was no platform hakukuwa na msela alikuwa anaenda mahali anasema eh kuna movie fulani ya Kenya imetokea tu tu it was a very select crowd so easy if you look at the platforms that we have from Netflix to um Philit TV you see those are platforms that zina zina, zina tupatia our uh, maisha magic east kuna vitu wanafanya na there is a platform unaenda una shoot na una unauza una make do kitu ya kwanza do una get audience na una make jina so it's on an upward upward trend mm-hmm. eh, karibu nisemaye upward mm-hmm. eh ni ku, upward aki anga hii nikukae mvu yeah <laughs> anyway oje a word to someone maybe who looks at you na una inspire sana yeah. and also to a person mwenye probably unajua mtu ajuangi mtu ajuangi venye life itakuwa yeah. for instance uh, like us ndio tunaingia kwa industry we don't know what the life maybe size ndio tuko kwa hiyo situation ya size jina iko ujui what exactly you're supposed to do yeah. yani yeah. mtu ako ni kama inakwanga ni state ya confusion you don't know what you're supposed to do money is there the name is up there but ujui unafaa kufanya nini so unaenda na yenye iko karibu yeah. So hmm, to budding filmmakers and you know um creators, creators mm. have a plan mm-hmm. like <clears throat> it's called an executive summary yeah? so you know um tanzi hapa jipatie time in the next 3 uh, months ningetaka kuwa hapa in the next 6 months ningependa kuwa hapa na nikishafika hapo in the next 1 year in the next 5 years jipatie your plan and stick to your plan stick to your plan and work towards it to get swayed na ile kitu tunafanya kuwe swayed ni the people you are around you so as the people who are around you they should affect your plan in a positive way ukipiga kitu anakuambia buda hapo umepiga poa lakini tungeifanya tunge you know make it better make the plan better make it grow and grow and grow and grow is fike place ka stagnate kasema jina tushafika nisha accomplish kile kitu nilikuwa nataka that's the mistake i did so don't do that yeah don't don't get comfortable look at um, do your research what's next how can i get into that propel myself father mm-hmm. now that's that's the advice i would give uh, mm-hmm. content creators mm-hmm. yeah yeah okay. make it better make it better mm-hmm. hey, be so, hot uh, and you're amazing fans when you're nolizanga oj ako wapi ah. you have any plans coming back to online media you know eh hey, hey, hey. so wale ambao wamekuwa kifuatilia story ya oj mnajua um, uh, there's something we're doing with uh, kinafilo and abeli Uh, we are shooting a movie called click click bang uh, hopefully beginning hopefully beginning uh, march tutaka mm-hmm. tutaanza ku roll camera mm-hmm. in the meantime niko na youtube channel yangu inaitwa um, akisipo uh, on, uh, on youtube mm-hmm. uh, season 2 ina roll up uh, na tafuta tu content mm-hmm. kauko na content hala jo boy mm-hmm. uh, but uh, akisipo pia na dufiti um na zaingi hapo ucheki but I've been up to yeah. wow thank you so so much OJ we really appreciate for the opportunity thank you for having me yeah, yeah thank you for taking the time uh-huh. ujilete mbaka yembu uh-huh. unitoe kwa ofisi <laughs> eh hey, madam <laughs> hey kona kierere <laughs> no sina kierere ah uh, lakini ni fit i like it i like it i like it but nashukuru pia uh-huh. thanks for having me now i say to zidi maze make it better exactly and guys thank you so so much this is a new segment that we've decided to talk about tunawaletea unaona wale wasemnaulizanga eh 
unaulizwa nani hey by the way nani alienda anga wapi sasa hakutakuwa na hayo maswali tunatafuta kila mtu comment down in the comment section who do you think tunaweza leta we have musician we have uh, we have actors we have peer politicians when they used to be in the industry but right now hatukuangishua wako wapi tutakuwa tunawatembelea huko mashinani tunatembea kabisa tunapiga story na wao so that they can get to inspire someone out there anyway guys remember we are road to half a million subscribers in case you're watching this video now we just subscribe what are you doing what are you waiting for subscribe we meet in the next video